and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so energetic. So, so much energy happened. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iris and this is my super duper amazingly talented, amazing photographer, gorgeous friend, um, video gamer, um, also, and Jay Phillips. <laughs> we are obviously inseparable. If you guys follow us on IG, then you know. It's one of those things, if you know, you know. So MJ came to visit me this week and we're just gonna have some fun. She does not wear makeup yet. Often, okay. Okay, sorry, Often. I lied. She wants to start getting into it a little bit more, right? Yeah, yeah so suitors would love me. <gasps> So today's video, we're gonna do a everyday kind of simple glam. We already put moisturizer on. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with our face products. I have the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator, AKA their Tinted Moisturizer. I'm in the shade 34H Medium Honey. I actually just picked this up the other day and I love it so far. I think it might be my new favorite tinted moisturizer. And what do you have? I got my girl Fenty Riri, you know. Um, I got Pro Filter 385. I used to be a 420, but during winter, your girl got lighter. Hey. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit. I usually have like a plate with me, but that's okay. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. And just gonna do the same. I'm just gonna do a glob like that. Just a little a bit. Glob. You can do, you can start with a, yeah, that, that should be good. No, one pump is fine. And then, <laughs> inseparable. And then you're gonna take your brush and just tap it around, tap, tap on the product. Around. Yep, tap it on your face, spread it out a little bit. So tap around. And then once you've placed it everywhere, then you just go ahead and buff it. I have a long face, I feel like. I gotta put more on here. <laughs> A little goes a long way, normally. Take it Aren't you supposed to like put it past like here yeah. too? Yeah, we're gonna blend it down our necks. That is correct, MJ. Look at you! I it's... know. <laughs> Thanks, I have been doing a lot of research. <laughs> it's like you watched a lot of makeup videos last night or something. Yeah. So MJ, you are new on my channel and people don't know you. Um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, I am half black, half Filipino, you know? Mm -hmm. Um. I'm 26. I play um, volleyball in the Philippines. Yeah, I just love to play video games, Apex especially. My gamer tag is Chabog Time 13. <laughs> Chabog Time 13. And I a stream on Facebook, um, but I haven't lately. But once I start and I build my PC, then you guys can start following me there. Amazing. Yeah. She's actually like super duper duper good at video games, like boss status, professional status. Yeah, that's because I'm an introvert and um, that's my skill, my only skill. Okay, how do I know when I'm done? My forehead's usually darker and right here. Okay, I put like, a little concealer, concealer. yeah. <laughs> you know! <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> oh my gosh! But I'm gonna put like a half glob and then just go over my face a little bit more just to get a little bit more coverage. Makeup is all about preference and fun and <laughs> I'm really enjoying how you're holding that back. <laughs> Can you tell I do makeup all the time? This is the new trend, guys. So I don't really use concealer. Um, wow, it's not all. You know I got these designer bags up in here. <laughs> That Louis Vuitton. And if you don't speak Tagalog, Sana Al is like an expression in the Philippines that literally means hoping everyone, but it's more of like, oh, must be nice type of expression. Do one more in the middle. And then take your pinky or your, or your ring finger and tap out everything. Like you're gonna blend. Amazing. Like this? Yeah, yeah. And just keep tapping under. And then you can blend it down a little bit. Yep. So blend it all the way out to your temple. Mm. I thought you're supposed to keep this on and let it sit there for a while. If you're doing an everyday full glam, like trying to get out of the house, you're not 
Well, first of all, I know you. You're not gonna just let it sit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this is what it looks like after it's blended. And then do it to the other side. You can use a sponge. You can use your, well, this is the easiest way. And they say like with your fingers, it warms up the product more so it can be easier to like blend out and spread out stuff. Please, I'm like sorry, that brush, the sponge. Well, you have to clean the sponge every time. Oh, okay, you know what? <laughs> well, you have to wet the sponge and then do it also. Your eyes look lifted, girl. <laughs> I got like 24 hours of sleep. <laughs> And then around your mouth area, I would go back in with your foundation brush and just like blend it off. <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm gonna do a bit too bright. <laughs> <laughs> like in person, it looks good. It might look crazy on camera, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I used the actual foundation coverage. I thought this is an everyday look. I should use my tinted moisture. Oh my god. That's okay. That's okay. It's so light coverage. Turn it off. Sorry. Yeah, turn it off. <laughs> Start over. I'm gonna let my face products sink in. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on with the eyebrows. Oh my god, I'm so scared <laughs> for the eyebrows. I have a Fenty eye I mean eyebrow pencil and look how cute this little brush is. It's adorable. Oh, oh, this is the YouTube Yeah, I know that's the YouTube thing. thing. Look how cute. That is adorable. Deep brown, brown MVP. Medium brown. Amazing. <laughs> Take one, <laughs> right? I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is way cheaper than Fenty, but I mean, whatever floats your boat. And I'm also gonna fill in with the ABH uh, Brow Definer. So this is in the shade Neutral Brown. And this is like, this is a pencil, pencil tip. So this one has more of a triangle tip. And this is just more to quickly fill in your brows. Oh my gosh, I'm just staring at my concealer and I just look like 14 years <laughs> younger. Like I look so... Like I got that good sleep last night. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna take the brush Sweet. and we're just gonna brush out the brows. Some people I see, they brush it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the whole way in. Looks amazing. Eyelash, eyebrow, eyebrush. <laughs> All the eyebrows. <laughs> Tagalog accent keeps coming up all the time. It's always when we're together. I know. Okay, the next <laughs> thing we're gonna do is just fill in. So I'm. <laughs> I gotta see. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just there's a little sparse areas on my brows, and I'm just gonna be really gentle and go in hair-like strokes, but follow the shape, follow the shape of my brow. I'm just lining and then bringing it out and then I'm gonna blend up from there and then I'm also going to brush my hairs down oh. and then and then follow the shape yeah and then I'm gonna blend that and then I'm gonna blend it back up and make sure the shape is what I want it to be one in a circle <laughs> And then I'm just gonna quickly fill in. See all the little yeah. gaps, little gaps. I'm just gonna fill that in. Yeah, you can also, yeah, you can also fill in with this. Okay. It's just, it's gonna use a little bit more product, which is fine. Since it's a flat, a flat headed one, I would go, I would go like this. Point your pencil like this, so you get the edges of the pencil. Like that. Can you see anything? I I can't. Why did she give you that color? Do you see anything? Else? Yeah, now. <clears throat> okay. Now what? And blend. So you're gonna <laughs> But don't like don't blend. Oops. Yeah, too hard? yeah, don't go too hard, otherwise you're gonna take away the power. I I really did. Now you just gotta match the other eyebrow one step at a time. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, she's playing drumline. Okay, right that costs a lot, okay? <laughs> And if you ever mess up like this, you can just uh, go back in and clean up with your blending brush. For today's purposes, if I'm getting a little bit like, oh, let's let's try a little bit today, I'm gonna use a powder over my tinted moisturizer. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 
330 toffee powder. So I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush so it disperses the product out more and isn't so harsh with it. Just gonna tap it in, tap off the excess. And if I'm in a rush, I probably won't uh, use powder. That is the Laura Mercier, this is medium deep loose setting powder. Tap a little bit in the cap to start with. Oh, that's good. Yep, cute, okay. <laughs> and then she's gonna take her powder brush and swirl it in the cap. Lightly or like I could just swirl it? Yeah, swirl it. And then get a lot like all over the brush, like on the bristles. So she's gonna tap off the excess in tight. Yep, uh, it. tap it and then blend it out. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer. I have this contour stick. Oh, poop. I was no. gonna say, I forgot you had that and I, you should have put it on before you set. But it's fine, it's all right. This is just casual. We're not doing, and it's not, it's not a make or break. I've been wanting to try this. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And this is in the shade 742B Sunset Striptease. Another fluffy brush, but a little bit more defined on the tip. Oh, um, eyebrows not do look good. The powder brush that I use to swirl around. And this is the bronzer brush I'm gonna use. So this will give me a more like, a little bit more precision on the face. I'm gonna place first before I blend up. I don't want to blend down because then it'll give me a beard. No, I don't want to go like down. Oh, 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 I want to oh. go. So this is where we make the face. And we want to, oh, perfect shadow line right there. Right there. And just warm it up a bit. So bronzer is for where like the sun would hit you. And being very light, so like holding the end of the brush will help you be a lot lighter. And then I'm also gonna go along the jawline. She's using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. Okay. No, I can't even see it. That's what I was saying. Follow along the line, and then you're gonna go blend back and forth. Now try pointing your brush up a bit. Yep. And then. Nice and gentle. No, so you can, like, we can build more up. Yes. <laughs> Go darker. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah, I literally can't see anything. I guess we're going to Sephora tomorrow. <laughs> this is the Elf Fiji Matte Duo. It's got a blush and a bronzer. And I'm going to use my Elf blush brush. Obviously, just still going strong. Just taper up. I forgot. How do you say this? <laughs> mix, mix. <laughs> Daydream blush. Sweet cheeks. Matt, I just really get it in there. Yeah, just. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. Okay, so this product is very powdery. It picks up a lot of products. So yeah, just tap off the excess and then smile a little bit. And then <laughs> throw, throw on the apples of the cheeks and just blend up to the temple. Oh, oh, oh. And blush is normally the first thing to like disappear in makeup, so. Some people do like to pack it on. Now I'm gonna take the big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend out everything. Take that blush and bronzer and just like blend them together softly. And then go all over wherever you bronzed. In your neck, yep. Wow, I look so rosy. Yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's so cute, I love ah! it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild um, highlighting powder in the shade Precious Petals. Also a classic. I'm gonna use my Morphe M510 brush, swirl it in there, tap off a little bit. High points of the face. You see where the light is hitting my face? Yeah. That's where we want to uh, bring out the highlighter. I personally don't like to highlight the chin because I get oily in my T-zone. I do like to highlight the nose. So I'll take it just in the middle right here, just so it can catch that light. And then on the tip of my nose. And we're gonna highlight the brow bone and inner corner after I do my eyes. I got my girl Fenty again. And this is a kilowatt ginger binge and Moscow mule. So you can see, I definitely do not use this as much. <laughs> oh, and this is my brush, the Cheek Hugger Fenty brush that I spent an arm and a leg for. Yep. Beautiful. Highlight. Oh, shoot, I put a lot on here. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, I love it. You can just throw on mascara and call it a day. But for me, because I'm extra and I love doing eyes, 
I'm just gonna do a quick eyeshadow look. I'm not even gonna prime my eyes today, so you're welcome. So I'm gonna use my favorite blending brush, the MAC 224 brush. I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna throw it all over the eyes, tap it off, just like throw it on there because I'm gonna put on eyeliner and since my eyelids are pretty oily, um, I need something to hold the eyeliner down. Now I'm gonna take the shade Zone. You don't even have to tap, you can also just like shake. So I'm gonna take this on the outer corner of my eye first and then just buff it into the crease. Literally an everyday look. I'm just gonna be messy with this because it doesn't really matter that much today. I'm just gonna blend out the edge of the crease. And that's it for the eyes. I'm gonna throw on a wing liner and throw on some lashes because I love lashes. <laughs> well, I just bought this Fenty bad boy. It's true neutrals. That's what it looks like. <laughs> now you're a true YouTuber. Yeah. If I were you going for natural every day, I would use this guy. This shade is called Cumin Get It. <laughs> There's a lot of kick up to this uh, eyeshadow. Kick up is like the, all the powder that comes up out of Oh, is that yeah. bad? No, it's fine. I'll just blow it off. Your eye is in thirds. So inner third, middle third, outer third. Start with the outer third and then blend inside to the, yep, perfect. And then blend up and out. That's a good base color for you. Like I can't see. <laughs> I would take the chocolate brown color called Affogato. I love these names. I'm not gonna lie. I, makeup's crazy, but I like their names. They're corny. Crazy. They're talking about. <gasps> oh. <laughs> My battery died. <laughs> so you're gonna clean off your brush. You're just gonna blend that harsh line out until it looks like faded. Beautiful, MJ, oh my god. So now I, I was trying to ma match that eye with this eye. I was trying to match this eye with that eye. I'm taking my favorite eyeliner, NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner in black. I also have the brown one, but I wanna go black wing liner today. Again, Fenty. <laughs> Just sponsor me she by is now. expensive, girl. Um, it's called Cause I'm Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. So hers is a felt tip. Really? Mine is a brush tip. Huh? A brush tip, I feel like you have a lot more precision. <gasps> Just marked my table <laughs> with your eye. <laughs> so sorry. Are you gonna <laughs> own me in your fancy <laughs> brush? <laughs> It's all bit now. <laughs> Throw my money away. The brush tip, I feel like you can have more precision with how you can drag out the liner. And like, you see how it goes from thick to thin? I haven't found a good felt tip liner in a very long time, but let's see how this one works. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. So this was the Fenty and this was the... Pen is bleeding all over my hand. That's not my your cap. Just take it away. <laughs> this lighting is, doesn't do me justice. All right, I'm just gonna turn this. Don't yeah, like I look a thousand times better. Now. <laughs> I still personally like the precision control of the brush tip, so that's what I'm gonna use. We're just gonna start with a basic line on the eye. So just get on on the lash line as close to the lash line as possible. Cause you don't, when you put mascara on, you don't want like weird gaps in between your lashes. So just stamp and go slowly, however you need to. Start with a line. And if you want to call it a day after just the line, call it a day, throw some mascara or lashes on. And now I'm going to start at the corner and just go little by little. And this is helpful if you're looking straight on for a mirror. Hopefully I can match it with the other side. <laughs> I get so fast. I'm, Jeez, just, like, so fast. I'm just like, just do it. <laughs> so the other side, I'm gonna try a different way of doing it. I'm just, I'm gonna start out and then come back in. I go back and forth with techniques that I do. So we're just gonna go for it. I lower London Wispy Light number 117s. I'm gonna trim one and a half uh, lashes off of the edge. Favorite lash glue, the duo glue, the green one, the green packaging. Wow, MJ, beautiful. Maganda. Look at you. You don't like it. 
Mm. I'm gonna let the glue dry. Meanwhile, I'm gonna curl my lashes. So I line it up in the middle. I do not put my lashes all the way inside because I get teary-eyed in my water ducts and then they run. And then I also take the edge of the lash, I put it higher than the lash line. So that it gives more of like a pulling up effect. Because if I went along my lash line, my lashes would go down and my eyes would look like droopy. And then you just press them together. I'm in a tight line. Do you see the space under my eye? Like the white space? Mm -hmm. For my eyes specifically, I have to tight line so that it all mm -hmm. like... And I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil. I have always used the Marc Jacobs Gel Highliner Crayon. I still do, obviously, but this one is a lot more creamier than this guy. Both do the same thing, but I'm starting to like this one a lot better. Does everyone have to do that? No. People with the same issue I have. I'm gonna set my brows with the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Love this thing. This is like my third repurchase of this. This is where I start to fluff my brows up. So I'm gonna stay straight up, fluff them out. This is just gonna hold my brows up. Highlighter in my inner corners. And also, of course, highlight the brow bone. Last but not least, Urban Decay All Nighter. Favorite setting spray ever. I also just bought Urban Decay Long Wear uh, Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. All Nighter, yeah. Okay, gosh, you scared me. And this is just gonna melt your makeup all together and it's just gonna give you a nice glow. One, two, three but I'm extra, so I go like all over. And that's fine, yeah, don't breathe it in. And then don't try to move your face so that you don't get creases. <laughs> so you don't get creases in your face. Fenty, the best lip gloss on this earth. Debatable. This is... What do you like about it? It's just, it's like natural. Like it looks like juicy. It gives your lips like that. Mm. Them kissable lips, baby. I'm gonna try a new lip combo. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk duo. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. This is the shade Trust Your Gut. And then I also have the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice. Oh my god, MJ, you look so I pretty. know. <laughs> <laughs> I look so good. You See, this so gives good. me the confidence, yes. baby. Sunny. It's the lips. I love man. it. Mm. She's like, wow. I gotta show my mom too. Oh, I love this lip combo. Mm. It's a nice nude pink lip combo. A bit on the dusty rose side. For my natural lips, it's really like very pink. And I love how this is like a cute little daytime pink kind of action. Was it easy? Um, mm -hmm. Easy ever. <laughs> Well, for you, it might be easy. For a brand new person, overwhelming, <laughs> but it was nice. You were nice to me. You were gentle. So for this everyday look, this is what I would throw on if I'm going places. If I'm just going to the gas station or like just going to the store and coming back, I'll probably go no makeup or just throw on like mascara and brow gel and call it a day. You want to feel a little something on your everyday? You can bump it up a little. This is what I would do. Probably would scale back like a couple of things, maybe. Like what? I don't know. I think the eyeshadow. I just wouldn't do eyeshadow. I just would do eyeliner and mascara, and then my tinted moisturizer. I wouldn't do full coverage. I do light coverage. Mm -hmm. The eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> we got that work was on yeah. It. We gotta work on that. I wouldn't do bronzer like I would have done before. I would just probably put like the blush and the highlighter and call it a day. Mm -hmm. for me. Okay. Nice. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, we're trying to start like a channel together, like social media conglomerate. Is that the word? Social media conglomerate together. So leave any suggestions on what our name should be. For and what we should do next. Yeah. And what, what else do you guys want to see from us? So let us know in the comment section down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. Follow us on social media. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.